Fight fans, we are in Paris, France for the launch of our 2024 PFL Europe season. The City of Lights tonight is all about the fights here at a sold out Ecor Arena. The largest event in mixed martial arts history here in this beautiful country. Sell out crowd. All waiting for the walkout and the performance of an absolute icon. Ah! Eager anticipation here. Dan Hardy, Stefan Struve, I'm Sean O'Connell. We have talked about this. The fact that it is incredibly rare in the sport of mixed martial arts to find a true superstar on the rise. These fighters like this, personalities like this, we haven't seen many of them in the young history of this sport of mixed martial arts. And undeniably, Cedric Dumbe able to sell out an arena he belongs on the list with the names that everybody knows already. He's only five fights deep. It's incredible. Uh, this, I mean, this whole event, what the, the fear that, that Cedric's been able to create in this, in this country is like nothing else I've ever seen. Like, I, it's going to take me a few days to recover from this emotionally because this is just so overwhelming. We have over 16,000 seats in this arena, and I'm looking around, and not one of them is being used right now. Everybody is on their feet. Everybody is anticipating this walkout. And every single person in this room will remember this event for the rest of their lives. This is a special night for all of us. I feel very grateful to be here. Baki, that's Baisagor Shamsurinov. That's Cedric Dumbe. These guys so heated all week back and forth. You couldn't get him in the same spot without the tension and the camps butting heads and going back and forth. And we settle it in a mere few moments here in Paris. A welterweight main event. Cedric Dumbe, Baisangor, Baki Shamsudanov. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Basongu Shamsudanov! Two years old, undefeated, 7 0, an incredible powerhouse in the welterweight division. Baki Shamsudinov looking to spoil the fun for a sellout crowd tonight and stake his claim at mixed martial arts stardom. Make no mistake, this is not a mismatch. That young man is formidable. Well-rounded. The toughest test 
of Cedric Dubé's career. And in the red corner, Cedric Dumbe. Undefeated at 5 0, Cedric Dumbe makes his highly anticipated return to the Smart Cage in Paris. And his fans have set quite a stage here in Paris as we take a look at the tail of the tape for this welterweight main event. Dumbay, 32 years of age. Baki Shamsudinov is 22. Both men 5 feet 8 inches tall. Reach advantage on the arms belongs to Cedric Dumbay. Both men turned in a 41-inch measurement on the legs. Keys to victory, Cedric Dume, of course, defend early takedowns. Counter punching will be the safer route than leading. Scramble to safety, of course, for Shamsudinov. Establish that jab, pap, pap. Set up the takedown, of course, and the jab will be a big part of that. And then if you can trap Cedric against the fence, 
that is where Baki does his best work. The voice of our smart cage, Andy Shepard, one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, Paris, France, we have arrived at our main event of the evening, and the world is watching! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is an MMA specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. He weighed officially at 170.4 pounds, and he holds a perfect professional record of seven wins and no losses. Fighting out of Paris, France, by Songu Becky Fighting out of the red corner. He is a striking specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. He weighed in officially at 170.2 pounds. And he holds an undefeated record of five victories and no defeats. All five wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Paris, France. Cedric. in charge, Mark Goddard. Okay, gentlemen, you understand the rules you find. Then listen to me at all times, keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, do it now. If you want to touch, do it now. God bless. Cedric. Cedric Dubé in the black trunks. Baki Shamsudinov in the green. Two undefeated fighters. Ready, ready. Here we go. Touch of the gloves. And the low stance again for Cedric Dubé. Special fights, my heart is pounding. Look at the width of Baki Shamsudinov's back. Cedric's trying to tempt Baki to throw so he can counter. Smart move. If he throws first, Baki's gonna level change. There it is. There's the kick. Perfect job by Baki Shamsudinov. Very interesting scenario. Now we see Cedric Dumbe on his back. Butterfly hooks in. Chamsadinov is so incredibly strong in this position. Butterflies. Oh, beautiful oh, job here. What a stand up there by Cedric Dumbe. Confidence builder for the kickboxing world champion. And what a statement as well to be able to create space so easily with the butterfly hooks. Pop back to his feet. Nice jab. Ducked under the overhand right from Baki. Threatens the rear legs, Dumbe. I think he's gonna start thinking about that rear knee. Now he's got the timing of Baki's level change. And you can see how tentative Baki is to throw any strikes in his direction. Oh, kick catch. Nice snatch single there. Oh. Baki. Great scramble by Dumbe yet again. Can get back up, no? Baki wrestles all the way to the top, and again, here's those butterfly hooks. Cedric Dumbe on his back for the second time in this fight. Two minutes gone. Staying very calm, and Chamsodinov is not taking any risk because he's afraid Dumbe is going to pop right back up again. This risk, this hand control here is fantastic. You can see Dumbe's got the, the butterfly hooks on the inside. He's not allowing, he's not allowing Baki to 
to pass his guard. Beautiful work here for Baki, though. Now he's starting to circle around in this direction. He's passed the half guard. Dubé's got the overhook. He's got the frame on the inside of the bicep as well. He's doing all the right things. Beautiful job there, by Oh! oh. by Dubé! Baki floats and stays on the back of Cedric Dubé. Baki Shamsudinov wanted to be in these positions, wants to wrestle in this fight. Wear out the legs and the hips of Cedric Dubé, take away his striking power. I'm impressed so far. Dubé. Oh, trying to create space, but beautiful takedown by Tom Sedina. I've been impressed so far by, by uh, Dubé's grappling skills. Of course, they're almost entirely defensive, but he's able to create space very easily. Same again here with the butterfly hooks. Dubé using those inside frames so he can control back his striking. I expect Dubé to pop up to his feet any moment here. Maybe even tempt back in with a back exposure to see if he'll chase that rear naked choke. Here goes. Good job by Tom Sedina to hold on the leg. And there's a beautiful mat return. Good work by Baki here, invested in those thighs. He is so incredibly strong. One minute left in round number one. All Baki in the wrestling so far. Keeping Cedric Dumbe on the defensive. Well, he has a hole in there, creates space. 45 seconds to work, back in the center of the smart cage. I'd love to know what's going on inside the mind of passing your Shamsudinov right now. But good jabs there by Baki. I think Cedric's allowing him to throw those jabs, though. He's trying to build his confidence in the striking range so he can play there a little bit. That overhand right's coming in a moment. If Baki commits to that jab again, Dumbe's looping over the top. There's a good jab by Dumbe. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Baki with another jab. Super low stands for Dumbe, making that lead leg look very difficult to get to. Oh! Hit by hand at the end for Baki. Good first round for Chum Zabino there. Oh, what a first round. What a first round. So let's take a look at this takedown. The beautiful efficiency of Baki here. Sees the kick coming, grabs the leg, and then drives himself over his opponent. Drives Dumbe to the canvas. Look at that leg catch. Nice twist there. Drives his opponent to the canvas, picks the leg up, but good work by Dumbe. Spinning out. Baki constantly trying to stay over on top of him, though. Watch Dumbe peel out of the side here. This is lovely work. Heavy, heavy pressure by Baki, but the footwork of Dumbe up against the fence was impressive to me. One more time for Dumbe. Scrambles, Baki stays on the body lock. Up and down. Strong first round for Baki, but maybe a statement made for Dumbe. Sean O'Connell, Stephen Struve, Dan Hardy. Cage side, inside the cage, our main event, Cedric Dumbe. Sold out this Acor building in 20 minutes or so against Baki Shamsudinov, who took round one with the grappling. That right hand's coming over the top for Dumbe. I feel like he's tempting Baki to throw that jab, offering him a target so he can slip it. There it is again. Look at Baki is, I think, faster than Dumbe might have at first anticipated with his strikes. Hasn't yet been able to uncork anything. John McCarthy, round number one, very interesting. What do you think? It definitely was. Baki absolutely won it, but you gotta look at Dumbe. Go back to the very first kickboxing champion in MMA. Maurice Smith used a butterfly guard, took his time, was relaxed, and that's what I'm seeing out of Dumbe. So at 22 years of age, is Baki gonna start to get frustrated when he can't hold him down? Dumbe starting to show that uppercut. That's a good left hook from Dumbe. Grabbles More with pressure the hook now. Instead. Shot to the body. Quickness on display here from Chamsudinov as well.
good discipline from Baki. A 22-year-old individual undefeated walking out into this crowd. He's managing himself and his emotions very well. That time he threw the right hand. Cedric made him miss. But it's been all defense for Cedric mostly. Missed with the left. Good jab. Bumbe is not throwing the leg kicks anymore. That's what, it, what got him through. Oh, oh, no. Good job there. Stumbled Baki. It looked like he was preparing the level change. There's a hook left hands for Cedric Dumbe. And Dumbe has still not thrown that right hand over the top. And I think that's because he doesn't want Baki to know it's coming. I think he's being very, very patient here, drawing the jab. When Baki comes, he's going to slip and come over the top with that right hand. Great work with the lead hand from Dumbe so far. Jabs to the head, jabs to the body, shows the uppercut again. Jamsud loves wrestling, has taken the legs of Cedric Dumbe out of the first portion of the second round. <laughs> and you can see the comfort Cedric Dumbe has in the striking. He's willing to hang his head out there. Oh! There's another quick jab. That was incredibly accurate, considering Baki was level changing at the same time. Jab into the ball. Good level change again by Baki. He's got a hold of the leg. Can Dumbe stay on his feet? Here's the body lock from Baki. Got him down, he's got him on one knee. Gumbe's got an underhook on the left side, good job there. Warning from Mark Goddard, a quick cheeky fence grab there from Dumbe. Dumbe staying relaxed here, Chamsudna pressuring heavy, but not yet. Reaching job, down to the legs. Got a hold of the wrist and breaks free. Back to the center they go. This time, Chamsudinov claims the real estate in the middle. Oh, that good was a good jab. jab. Chamsudinov caught Cedric Dumbe coming in. Interesting. Dume really struggling to get going with his striking here. Baki's jab is lightning quick and he's being very disciplined in not over committing to any of his strikes, exposing gaps and holes for Dume to take advantage of. There's another of those jabs. Baki's being very patient, but he's he's not really scoring much. It's Dume with constant pressure, landing a jab now and then. That jab is getting a little bit more meaningful for Baki. He has to be very careful. Oh, oh with the right hand. Right hand. Right hand yeah. The first one, and it landed. Chabsudinov shrugs it off. Incredible toughness. He's walking him down more and more. I think we're going to see that rear knee come in in a moment. He's showing all kinds of center channel attacks, uppercuts and knees to try and discourage that level change. That doesn't mean he won't fire that when he sees the opportunity. Ten seconds to go. On the right end, by giving this there. Ball. Good head movement there from Baki. And another oh. good finish. Two much, rounds in the books. Much better second round for Cedric Dumbe. A very tough round to score because you saw Baki landing that jab consistently. I think the most significant strike of the round belonged to Cedric. That, that right hand at the end of the round was very nicely timed. I think he's going to have to pick his pace up this next round, last round. You cannot be sure how this is going to go on the scorecards. You've got Baki with the level changes, with the instigate. Look at that beautiful timing on that jab. I feel like we might be one round apiece here. I just. I don't think either of these guys could be sitting on their stool right now, confident that it's in the bag. You see very to... methodical forward movement from that lead leg of Cedric Dumbe. I don't know if it's injured or if that he wants to keep his feet planted in order to sprawl more effectively, in order to negate forward momentum from Baki more effectively.
Very interesting, that low stance. Cedric Dumbe may be loosening up here for round number three. PFL Europe, Paris, opening the season, and this is your main event. Cedric Dumbe in the black. Bisengor, Baki, Shamsudinov in the green. Oh! Nice right hand after the hook. And a good sprawl. And now Dubé swinging away. Confidence builder shrugging off that takedown attempt from Baki. Both guys are opening up in the third. I believe this is the deciding round. It makes more sense than ever. Incredible energy in the arena. Little Bird told me Big John McCarthy's got this one around the piece. The right hand landed again for Dumbe. John Sudanov, so tough, snaps his head right back around. He's been hit solidly by the kickboxing world champion many times. What's going on here? Cedric Dumbe indicating something wrong with his foot or toe. Dubé's gonna have to put his foot on the gas here. The fight has been waved off! What's going on? Mark Goddard waves it off! Cedric Dubé calling for attention to his foot, speaking with Baki, an injury to the toe. A strange finish to this main event. I think there might be a sliver in Cedric Dupe's toe. You heard, I'm sure, what Goddard was just explaining to Cedric Dumbe. You heard the case being made by Cedric. What's going on here? What's going on is you had Cedric Dumbe say that he has something wrong with his foot. You can't call a timeout. Now, if something was done by the, an incident in the case that was a foul, Mark Goddard would call a time to it and take care of the problem. But when Cedric Dumbe says, oh, my foot, and then... He tells him no fight on, and then he again goes back to he's got a problem with his foot. That's a self-inflicted injury or an injury that was caused by something fair in the fight. You're trying to call a timeout to gain something in that Mark Goddard is completely right in this. It is a TKO victory for Baki. Just an unbelievably unfortunate turn of events here in a main event that was just heating up in round number three. Some confusion. And a pause in the action from Cedric Dubé. An apparent sliver, maybe a toe injury. Looks like a steel sliver. I mean, that close maybe. up makes it look like there's a sliver in Something his toe. Something from the cage, maybe? Talk about an anti-climax. Oh. You can see he's favoring the foot, he's favoring the toe. Wincing at something. Mark Goddard says, you can't stop the fight, there's no timeouts, fight on. Baki is questioning, a touch of the gloves.
So Baki Shamsudinov looks to Mark Goddard and says he's not fighting, he doesn't want to fight. And Mark Goddard calls the fight on that. Controversial to say the least. Big John McCarthy says it's the right call. This is going to be seen and evaluated in replay over and over and over again. A very, very unfortunate anticlimactic result here in our main event. We'll make it official with Andy Shep. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, referee, Mark Goddard. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a halt to the action at one minute and 21 seconds of round number three, declaring your winner, Ryan TKO, by Shotgun, Sean Sudinov. You know, what, what we have right now, if you're looking, when you see Baki, he does back up. But when you see Cedric Dubai say, I have something wrong with my foot, it is there's nothing that's been done that's illegal. So he's going to have to fight through the injury. It's what we call self-inflicted. And then you see them start to go, and Baki stops like, hey, you're, you're, you don't want to fight. And Cedric again looks at Mark Goddard and points to his foot, illustrating that he has an injury to his foot. Once that's done, Mark Goddard has got to call the fight. The fight is over. It is a technical knockout victory for Baki based upon what we call a self-inflicted injury. All right, let's I'm get here. this over to Sean. I'm here with Cedric Dumbay. We'll get to the winner, Baki Chamsudinov, in just a moment. Cedric, explain for me, if you will, first in English, then in French, if you don't mind, what just happened in your view? Un bout de verre. Comment tu dis un épine? Glass, he, he felt like a glass in his feet. A sliver, you have glass in your foot? Uh, in, in English first? Uh, first of all, thank you for everyone to watch the fight. Uh, <laughs> attendez, attendez, attendez. <laughs> attendez. Laissez-moi expliquer en anglais d'abord, après on va parler français. So, I didn't want to stop the fight, and, uh, not at all. I wanted to fight, of course, as everybody saw. But I have like a, a small, I, I still have because I don't want to remove it. <laughs> I don't want people to say I'm a liar. I have a small, uh, a small uh, um, uh, glass, glass on my foot. I don't know uh, inside the cage. So it, it's hurting me. I just want to remove it and uh, keep going. So the referee told me, you can't stop. I say, okay, I wanted to fight. And then my opponent is he, looking at me. He's saying that something is uh, annoying me. He said, just remove it. And then we stop both together, looking at the referee, and then he stopped the fight. It's, it's not his fault. Of course, it's, that's not his fault. That's just the referee's fault. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I, I don't even know what to say. You know, I still have the, 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 the thing on my, uh, on my toes. I really don't know what to say, you know. I wanted to fight. I don't, I don't understand. Expliquez en français, du coup, okay. à la... Bon, à la hey, d'abord, si merci à tout le monde d'être là. Franchement, en public de malade mental. Eh, hey. hey. franchement, je me mets à votre place, je suis dégoûté. Je voulais voir un combat de malade mental, pas un combat qui s'arrête comme ça. Première chose, c'est pas de sa faute. Faites du bruit pour Baki, c'est pas de sa faute du tout. Hey. Lui, il est venu pour en découdre. Donc si on doit mêler quelqu'un, c'est pas lui, <rire> c'est l'arbitre. Non. <rire> non. non, je rigole. Alors je vais expliquer, en fait, on était en train de combattre et j'ai senti qu'il y avait un bout de verre ou un bout de bois, j'arrive pas à voir ce que c'est. C'est un bout de verre dans mon orteil, mon pouce gauche et ça me gênait. Du coup, j'ai dit à l'arbitre, il me dit qu'on peut pas arrêter le combat. Je dis OK, 
je continue, mais je sens qu'il y a un bout de verre en fait. Du coup, je le dis à Baki, je dis frérot, il y a un truc qui me gêne. Il me dit, bah enlève-le. Je dis, bah ouais, je vais l'enlever. Et là, l'arbitre, il arrête. J'ai rien compris, franchement, je sais même pas quoi vous dire. L'arbitre, il a arrêté, il me dit, tu peux pas arrêter le combat. Je lui ai expliqué. Je lui ai dit, mais j'ai pas arrêté le combat. C'est l'arbitre. Je, je comprends pas, tu vois. Before we let you go, Cedric, clearly this is not settled. This is not the climax, this is not the finish anybody wanted. Do you want to run it back? Would you like to fight Baki again? Bon, là, il vient de me parler français avec sa cravate. En vrai, la question, je me la pose pas à moi. Est-ce que vous voulez voir le fight encore et, et je pense que Baki, il veut pas le refaire. Il veut le faire. Parce que là, le fight, il s'est pas fait. Est-ce que tu es d'accord, chez moi Donc, et moi, of course, bien sûr que je veux faire le, le combat. Eh, hey, je vous jure, hein, là, je parle avec eux, l'émotion et tout. Je vous jure, je ne comprends pas ce qui se passe. Je ne sais pas pourquoi l'arbitre a arrêté le combat. Je ne comprends vraiment pas et je suis très déçu que ça se finisse comme ça. Donc, bien sûr, je veux refaire le combat. Je veux faire le combat. Of course, I want to fight. Thank you, Cedric. Baki, please. Baki, you won the first round with your wrestling. Your jab was looking good. And then the fight gets called off because of a strange situation. An injury, something in Cedric's foot. How are you feeling right now? It's a win for you, but this is not how you wanted to win. Comment vous vous sentez? Évidemment, vous l'emportez, mais bon, c'est évidemment pas la, la façon dont vous vouliez gagner ce soir. Euh, je vais répondre en français parce que mon anglais n'est pas encore bien amélioré. Je vais travailler dessus. Tout d'abord, je tiens à remercier toute la salle. Merci d'être venu pour ce combat exceptionnel. He'd like to thank first the crowd for coming for this exceptional event and he's going to work on his English soon, but yeah, he's going to answer in French. Ensuite, j'aimerais aussi euh, rendre, euh, dire mes félicitations à Cédric. Il faut savoir que Cédric, c'est une légende de son sport dans le kickboxing. Donc franchement, c'était un honneur pour moi de l'affronter. Et comme, tu le, comme vous l'avez dit, c'est pas la manière que, que je voulais gagner. Après, malheureusement, un combat pour moi, je le vois comme le champ de bataille. Une blessure et les choses imprévues font partie du combat, même si ça reste sportif. Maintenant, j'ai vu que, que mon adversaire. Ah non, je vais, je vais laisser poser les questions d'abord. Je vais essayer de ce que vous avez dit. Donc, bien sûr, beaucoup de respect pour Cedric. Ce n'est pas la façon dont il voulait gagner. Il est une légende, une kickboxing légende, donc ce n'est pas la façon dont il voulait gagner. Et oui, il voulait juste remercier tout le monde pour venir aujourd'hui. Donc, Baki, can we see it again? Baki, do you want to fight Cedric again and settle it for real? Est-ce que tu veux encore le, le combattre, évidemment? Alors, faut savoir que ce combat, je l'ai accepté car c'était une très belle opportunité dans ma carrière, beaucoup plus pour euh, pour l'aspect euh, légende à affronter que pour l'argent gagné. Je suis prêt à faire une revanche, mais bien sûr, il faudra aligner les billets. Je sais que le PFL, vous avez les moyens. Faites en sorte que ce combat se refasse dans une dans une salle encore plus grande. Ici, c'est petit. Je pensais que c'était plus grand. J'espérais voir beaucoup plus loin. Je pensais que j'allais même pas voir l'autre bout de la salle. Franchement, si j'étais trop à l'aise, j'aimerais avoir un peu de pression. Donc, si possible, on pourrait le refaire en plus grand. He said, uh, of course, he would like to beat him again, but in a bigger stadium and with more money. He knows that PFL has a lot of money, so yeah, with more money, he'll definitely come back and a bigger stadium because he, he didn't have a lot of pressure tonight. The sold out acorn, not enough pressure for Baki. I hope we see this again. Thank you, merci. One last word. Bon, les amis, euh, j'espère que vous avez kiffé. On a montré la beauté de ce sport. Il n'y a pas d'animosité entre nous. Oui, on est toujours rival. Parce que je dois tenir ma promesse, je dois l'éteindre. Donc le combat, on va le faire si ça se fait. Mais juste, on voulait, on voulait vous dire un truc. Tous les deux, c'est tout ça, c'est n'importe quoi. Vous savez, la chose la plus importante en ce moment, elle arrive dans quelques jours. Et Inch'Allah, ça va bien se passer, donc grosse force à tous les musulmans. Et on est des frères. On est des frères avant tout, et tout ça, c'est que du sport. Uh, I just want to say thank you for everyone to watch the fight. We still rival. We want to we want to do the, this fight again. I, I, I made I made a promise. I will knock him out. I have to to know to mark uh, to back it up. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, the most important is that we are brothers in Islam, we are Muslim, and uh, the most important thing is coming is Ramadan. So I want to thank all the Muslims and also all uh, the other people. Merci à tout le monde, les musulmans comme les non musulmans. Et c'est que du sport. Thank you both. I hope we see it again, and I hope we see it again soon. 
Merci, Paris. Good night. All right, take down of the night. Let's have a look at this. We had some good options. I tell you what, what was selected? Here we go. Paseo, beautiful hip throw here by.